Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a tutorial for how you can make your own awesome dice using the word plane in minutes. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, I'm going to start by hitting Create New Design, and then I'm going to call this Dice Project. Now, you can create dice out of six sided shapes, but I want to use something crazier. I am going to use the icosahedron. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch one handle, and then I'm going to type the number 40, so it'll be something close to four centimeters. So it's kind of large, kind of fun. The next trick is to get it so that it can print. Laying like this is pretty near impossible. So what I'm going to do is look at it from the right, and then I'm going to use the rotation handle, and let's just check some measurements. I'm going to try 38, and then I'm going to hit D to drop, and let's zoom in and see how close we came. We were close, but not perfect. So I'm going to do Control Z. Now, if you were in math class, there is probably a magic number. I'm going to do Control Z again. This time, I'm going to just try 37 and see if by dumb luck and a little practice, I got lucky. So let's hit D to drop and check it out, friends. That is is pretty darn flat and I think it's gonna print pretty awesome so we've got our die made now we've just got to add the awesome numbers friends we're gonna do that with the work plane click it once and then click on the first face where you want to put a number move to the text object bring it out and type the number you want I'm gonna backspace and put a one I'm gonna make it a hole I'm also gonna switch to the sans font just because I like it better I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it so it looks pretty decent. And then I'm going to use the arrows to align it. I'm not going to hit a line because this shape is so irregular, it'll look crazy. And then I'm going to make it two millimeters thick. And then since I'm on this work plane, if I do control down arrow one, two, it sinks it in that exact two millimeters. I'm going to click on that shape and do control C. I'm going to switch the work plane to my next face. This is kind of tricky. You're going to have to trust me. I do control V and then hit the letter D to drop it to the correct height. When you move it over, check it out. That one lands exactly where you want. You just need to rotate it to the correct angle. So because we put this work plane here, it lines up the exact way we want. You can put your second number. I'm gonna just put a two. As I move it around, I can get it so it's just the way I want. If it doesn't fit, you can hold down shift and shrink it so that it looks a little better. If you grab the wrong piece, like I just did, you do control Z. That's where I'm gonna want the shape. I'm gonna change that height back to two because remember we shrunk it a moment ago. And now because we've got that work plane, control down sinks it into that exact right spot. I'm going to do control C on that shape. I'm going to hit W for work plane, which is the shortcut. And I'm going to do control V and then D to drop, nudge it into place. I'm going to fit view so I got a good look at it. And I can look at it from that side, rotate it so it's the angle I want. I think I'm going to try and always put the flat part of the number down towards that little spike. And let's put a number three there. Once again, because the work plane is set and because I didn't change it, I can just do control down arrow to sink it in the two clicks. Because I've still got this one copied, I'm just going to hit work plane and switch. Control V, which it'll freak you out that it's not there. Just trust me. Hit D to drop arrange it and type your number and then repeat these steps until you've built your entire icosahedron die. Do you know how many sides you're going to end up with? I'll leave that as a surprise for the end of the project. Friends, when you do finish, you want to make sure that you put your work plane back to the ground and let's group this so we can see what we've made. So you can do a little bit of math and figure out how many sides are on an icosahedron. And of course, if you do solve that, you can share it in the comments. 
Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.